Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today we're taking a look around the world and showing how we are in the time of this beast out of the sea now. On our channel, we show how all of the world is as a matrix and that these things are actually mapped out all around us, that God has created everything, and that Jesus Christ is the only way. But this beast is rising, the beast out of the sea and the beast out of the earth, with many heads, seven heads and ten horns, the popes involved, all the way to Obama, to Donald Trump, to the President of China, the Queen of England, the Saudi Arabian King and Princes over there, and all the way into Iran and all around the world. These beasts are coming together to fight Jesus Christ. It's all part of the scenario of the Bible. Please discuss these as you will. Right now our point is to just show that this is active and this is happening. That this thing is actually messing with people's heads and causing school shootings, violence, and deception all around us. Even the school shootings were this dragon, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Just as at the Stone Man Douglas High School. See how their logo is the eagle? On well, the Bible, the beast is trying to stop the eagle. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. That dragon wants to eat that eagle. Well, we show how these things are mapped out all around us, even with these shark attacks happening. So now we've had school shootings with the eagles. There was a gentleman that went crazy here and actually went and shot 17 people. And he actually said that he was demon-possessed. You can see right here, the suspect says that a demon told him to do it. And that the demon actually also wanted him to suicide after that, telling him to kill himself. As we've been showing, this thing will suicide the, the human host body that is corrupted into causing these types of killings. So they're going after the eagle and the seeds, just as we've been showing in other places around the world. And it all represents this beast out of the sea rising. Revelation 13, see there? Well, these signs are all around us, just as with these shark attacks in this one area that has been happening. Great white shark attack near Plymouth. Near Manomet Point. We're going to go up there and it's actually going to map the beast going after the white horse, which is Jesus Christ's horse. This is where the school shooting happened, and you can see the big shark. It talks of in the Bible of people like myself and billions of others waking up to show these things all around the world. That's right where the school shooting was. 17 people and a, a young man that said the demons were talking into his head. See that there? This was shown in a movie recently. Because the, the whole world's like a matrix. These things will just start happening everywhere. And there's a balance. The good side and the bad side. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Jesus coming with the sword. In this movie, the sun is coming to get the sword, and the white horse is taking down the beast with the big pyramid on top. See the beast with many horns and seven heads? And the white horse takes down the beast. So just note that these things are right in front of us all the time. Rejoice and come to the Lord Jesus. The rider on the white horse takes out the beast and false prophet. There it is, right in the movie. And see the beast back there with the pyramid? Same thing there, possessing people and going after the children. Well, this is also shown where these shark attacks just happened. So let's head up there and show some of these. Let's go up to the Manomet area where this one shark attack happened. If you're new to our channel, welcome to the Matrix. Um, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything is going according to plan. And that plan means Armageddon, whenever that time is chosen by God. This is Manomet Point.
Plymouth. Massachusetts. City Beast. A great white shark was seen up off of this area near Manomet Point recently. And scaring people off and shutting down the beach. But it's all more signs of that beast out of the sea. And right here you can see the beast is going after the white horse, the rock, Jesus Christ. It's also known as the time of the five, when the beast from the pit will rise. See this big V? The beast from the pit rising. And right here is where the shark was seen, and you see the white horse rocks, and you can actually see God has mapped out the white horse when Jesus Christ is ready to defeat the beast. There it all is, right in front of us. The white horse. Almost the same scene as this movie. There he is on the white horse, going to take down the beast. The most recent one, an attack happened over here at Biting, over near this one area, Long Nook Beach. I mapped this out in an earlier video. This just happened, like in the last day or so. So you can see we're getting signs everywhere, even from the animals in the ocean. These things are showing it. This is where the most recent attack was Long Nook Beach and you can see this big dog right here which we've shown represents the woman ready to give birth see Dorothy fighting the wicked witch that's what it says in the in the Bible we're, we're fighting what's known as the wicked watch how these things play out Isaiah 66 when Jesus gets ready it's known as God's final judgments against the wicked. See where the white shark attack was? Look at the name of the newspaper. Wicked. That's what it says in the Bible. The wicked will be able to be seen easily at the end. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with the flames of his with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. There he is. Going after the beast. So you can see this big dog right here. This represents the woman actually giving birth has a lot to do with the star systems and the dog star Sirius and the star of Bethlehem which you can see right here Jesus ready for the birth of the next age old kings see there the king the lord of lords See him mapped out right there, and that's right where the latest shark attack was happening, going after the woman, which is seen as his dog, and then going after Jesus to stop that birth. The dragon going after the woman, trying to stop, and she brought forth a man-child who is to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Her child is caught up into God and to his throne. The final judgments against the wicked. So just know these things are all real. Getting into trying to figure out each and every little thing is one thing, but just know you can have eternal life. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's The beast is actually fighting our Lord and Savior. Call out to the Father to give him strength to fight all of these ten kings and this beast with all of the many horns that is fighting. See, the white horse. There's the Lord's horse. The rider on the white horse, the king of kings, 
the Lord of Lords. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. Hallelujah. So just know it's actually going on, even in the movies. There's that pyramid thing. It's known as the burdens of Egypt in the Bible. There it is, going after our children. Possessing people, telling them to actually suicide and then go kill. Getting inside of people's heads and driving them into a rage. And getting them crazy. Thank you very much, everybody. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Keep faith. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah.